Hey ladies and gents, it's Zen back with the Iconic Plane series, and we are doing probably one of the most iconic planes of World War II, especially for the Americans, which of course is the P-51. Uh, this model is the P-51D, this is the Tier 7, uh, you get it at Tier 6 with the P-51A, and of course you also get the, uh, later on up in here you get the P-51H uh, at Tier 8, but we're going to do the P-51D. Uh, this was probably, this was, I believe, dealt in about 19, uh, 1944 is when this really became the uh, go-to fighter for the uh, L.A.s, at least in the Eastern, or uh, in the European theater, uh, for long-range escort. So this aircraft originally was developed for the British. Uh, they didn't care much for the P-40, and they wanted a newer aircraft. Uh, so development was started on the, the of course, the P-51. Uh, this aircraft suffered uh, from its Allison engine. Uh, it had a hard time above, I believe, 15,000 feet. Uh, performance really dropped off. Uh, so it was kind of, uh, when they got it, the British used it more for the reconnaissance uh, fighter bomber role and not so much as a long-range uh, escort fighter. Until one of them decided, let's well, let's let's put a Merlin in this bad boy. So what they did was uh, kind of they went to Allison, and Allison built Merlin engines uh, under contract. That's why you'll notice here is the V1657, which is actually an Allison engine and not the Merlin. Uh, it doesn't say Merlin, of course, but this is actually a Allison built Merlin engine uh, for this aircraft. Uh, historically, it carried six 50 cal machine guns, uh, and it's not and you know, and you read about it in the war and stuff, and it was used extensively during uh, not just the European, the Mediterranean. It was used uh, over Japan, escorting bombers and that stuff. Uh, it had it had a very uh, it performed very well all the all the way up to forty thousand feet. The Germans considered it one of the more difficult aircraft to fly against. Uh, after World War II, it was dumped onto the market. They were picking uh, there was uh, pilots picking this plane up for fifteen hundred bucks. Uh, you know, uh, just surplus. Uh, it was used during the Korean War. Uh, it was shuttled to the South American countries, and I believe as early as 1980, there was, uh, 81 or 82, there were still some P-51s uh, still flying uh, in the so South American countries uh, <laughs> as a frontline uh, fighter bomber. Uh, so that's how well built this airplane was, uh, that it was still flying uh you know, 40 years after its uh, initial uh, development, uh, and it was still being used. So yeah, that's the actual history of the P-51. What we have in game is sadly not what <laughs> what could be considered uh, this uh, aircraft. And I'm just going to pull up the P-51D, and I'm going to pull up, um, of course, the uh, BF-109 series. And it's kind of a sad, and I'm not going to tell you that this is a great aircraft. Uh, the problem is this thing really sucks, uh, especially for maneuverability-wise. Uh, everything pretty much outperforms it. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not kidding either. Uh, this, you know, we're going to talk about some of the um, uh, aircraft that it's going to run into uh, a lot of times. And it has a slight advantage over some aircraft, uh, but most of the time it's just meh. And, and sadly, you know, and I have my highest combat points in this plane, um, you know, at 19,000, uh, but it's, it really suffers. So, I mean, so we're going to take a look at, you know, for example, flying against the G model, BF-109, uh, it's simply outclassed uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, maneuverability, uh, altitude performance, uh, even airspeed, it has a slight edge, but not much. Uh, you know, and then we, we, we drop over here to the mission. Mitsubishi A7M uh, lose hardcore to the maneuverability a little bit faster and of course it has a better altitude performance but so it, it's a difficult airplane to fly because uh, most everything can outturn you and there's several other aircraft in the ground that's going to catch you in a, a flat out run anyway so you know typically in this aircraft I like to play more like a, you know clear tails uh, catch heavy fighters uh, I mean this works really well uh, against heavy fighters, uh, especially at altitude, uh, bombers, that kind of th stuff. It works well with the 60 f with 650s. Uh, you can really run through them pretty quickly uh, if you get all of them running on there. 
It's not much for dogfighting in this game. Now, I've heard they said that there's going to be some uh, rebalancing after the first of the year, so hopefully uh, this aircraft will become a little bit better than what it is right now. Uh, I mean, Spitfires, yeah, BF-109s, uh, even the Falkwolves uh, run right with it, uh, with this maneuverability. And, you know, the 109s and the, and the Falkwolves, the 190s, uh, typically are even, uh, altitude performance-wise, are even just as good, if not better, and even speed-wise. So there's nothing that really makes this plane stand out in the game, considering how iconic uh, the P-51 is. So people say, well, it's Russian bias. Well, it, it could very well be, but, um, you know, it, it's just lackluster, uh, in my opinion, uh, for what it was historically uh, and, and its combat record. So hopefully, hopefully they do a little bit more about this uh, and maybe do a little bit change up on its stats and hopefully bring it a little closer to what uh, it's currently competing against. I'm not saying it's not a bad plane. You know, I've had some really good games in it. Uh, but yeah, it, it suffers a little bit. It's not good at the zoom and boom because of the 650s. You really have to get behind stuff, something and really work it, considering most everything can outmaneuver you, which isn't always easy. So pick on low target, uh, low health targets, pick on heavy fighters, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, and, and look for targets opportunity. Try not to get in a dogfight, you know, try to get away from them because this thing does not do well in a dogfight. So that's my personal opinion about it. Uh, of course, if you've been playing the game, playing it, you probably already know this. Uh, try to stick to altitude as much as you can. But, of course, with the changes in the game, you're going to end up being down low, you know, so it is that. It does gain altitude really uh, well, and it does have a very nice speed to it. But, once again, the German fighters outmaneuver it and a lot of the times can run with it uh, and catch it. Uh, altitude performance are very similar, so there's really not nothing, there's nearly nothing that makes this thing stand out uh, compared to the other uh, fighters in the game. So as a light fighter, you know, do what you gotta do. Uh, I put a new brand new uh, pilot in here just because I've got the P-51H now. Uh, I would suggest if you're gonna be doing it, you know, uh, stick more along the lines of like the engine gurus, um, you know, try to increase the speed of this because it does have very nice takeoff. High, you know, high airspeed accelerates quickly when boosting. So, you know, you want to work on those kind of pilot skills for this aircraft. Uh, but, you know, uh, it, it's such an oddball aircraft that doesn't really do anything real well. It can't do the zoom and boom. So you're going to have to do a little mixing and matching and finding out what's working for you with the pilot skills at least wise. Uh, and, you know, and try on that. Uh, for the equipment, I tried uh, the gyroscopic gun sight just because of the 650s are all over the fucking place. Uh, lightweight airframe or improved radiator. Try to keep up that boost so you can use it. And, of course, I'm trying control surface adjustments just to see if it's going to help a little bit, see if you can get a little bit more turn out of it. Uh, but I think I'm going to end up going to be changing this to something else, maybe some uh, polish uh, to keep the speed up to it. So, uh, that's the plane. That's my opinion of it. it like I said, it's, it suffers uh, from its lackluster performance uh, that they give it in this game. Uh, you know, the, even the P-51H uh, is not much better. Uh, you know, similar performance, similar maneuverability, and all that kind of stuff. So, I really hope they make these changes, and I hope they bring this thing, you know, as an iconic plane back to uh, something a little more along the lines of being rather effective uh, in this game. And of course, like I said, you, anybody can do well in it, of course, if, if you pick your, pick your target of opportunities and pick on the planes that you can uh, maneuver with. Uh, and most of the time, you know, heavy fighters, um, you know, bombers, bomber squadrons, if you really have to, I wouldn't suggest it so much. Or even, uh, you know, ground attack planes. Uh, you know, this thing is rather, f rather f uh, fragile. It takes a lot of damage. And you'll see in the video what I'm talking about. So... I'm going to bring up the uh, video for you guys uh, right now. All right, guys, back with the replay for the P-51D. And, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I like the plane, don't get me wrong. It's just it's just so lackluster for what it is. Uh, and you'll notice in the video I, I might pick on target set uh, of opportunity more than anything because uh, it doesn't really, like I said, it can't, it's not really a dogfighter. And it doesn't do zoom and boom well. Uh, so you have to deal with that as you play this game, of course. So, give me some altitude here. 
uh, seeing if I'm going to see if find any uh, heavy fighters. And, and that's what this airplane really actually does pretty well. As if you're going to do a roll type, um, it does well against uh, heavy fighters. Uh, with its altitude and its speed, uh, it can keep up with heavy fighters for the most part uh, at altitude, of course. Uh, and it does have enough guns uh, and firepower you can really work these uh, heavy fighters over real well. Uh, and they can outmaneuver you for the most part. <laughs> so drop in on the P-38F right off the bat, flip over, uh, and now I'm actually going to go after the A-26 because I'm already up here and I'm not going to go down there. Uh, and this, of course, is always a threat uh, with these A-26s. So pull in on the A-26. And you know, with the 650s, you can go through uh, these aircraft, uh, these high HP aircraft, relatively quickly once you get in behind them. Uh, and you can see the numbers on them just literally uh, disintegrate uh, with all these 50s because it takes quite a while for them to overheat. So we flip the cap, um, and I'm sitting at not such good health here. Uh, so I'm going to actually head toward the airbase that has the wrench uh, and hopefully get over there to uh, do a little repair here. Unfortunately, like everything else, leaving the center, uh, you always end up losing it, you know, because that's the bots, because the bots have already flown off uh, and they're headed to something else. So dive in here, pick up some more of the self-defense fighters here, try to knock this out here so I can get relatively quickly, try to get on to, uh, to the uh, repair here as fast as I can. Uh, he flips up and over. The wily devils they are. So I'm not going to follow him around. I'm going to try to get here back in on his son, the P-40 here, uh, and hopefully kill him. Can't get around on him, so I pick up the last P-40 that's climbing here and go through him. Yeah, you, you, you just do not want to get in a turn fight with this. So you want to try to get, of course, like I said here, low health planes, and you want to pick them up on um, where you can get in behind them uh, clear tails. It's a great plane for clearing tails, uh, especially getting to the more maneuverable aircraft. And this is a lot of times more along the lines of adjusting your speed, slowing down, using your flaps and that stuff to make it work. Especially if you're, you know, running against a, something that's a little bit more maneuverable uh, and you just need a little bit more time, you know, dabbing that uh, slow down key, I guess you want to call it, uh, and, and flapping it. Uh, you know, let you turn a little bit, just enough to stay on them. And then essentially most of the time what you have to do is to try to keep that uh, plane in front of you. So back up to altitude here, and I got all kinds of stuff here. So I'm looking for my other human that uh, I had seen earlier. Uh, he's also on a P-51A. Uh, so this one, I know I'm just a tad bit more maneuverable than he is, uh, not by much. So I'll pull around. Um, and we're outside of the objective, of course, but it's not like uh, it's just better to send him back to uh, garage or at least the queue because I don't want to have to deal with him later on. So knock him out, come back down in here. Uh, they got the F4U pretty much taken care of, uh, and I just have two bombers up here. Uh, altitude performance on this aircraft, I cannot complain. It's excellent uh, for this tier 7. Guns are a little bit weak against sometimes, you know, I mean, yeah, you can shoot through these guys, but, you know, you're not going to get the big numbers off uh, that you do with the cannons. It takes a little bit while longer, and a lot of times that way you're going to end up with a lot more damage. Uh, for example, right now I've already knocked out my wing again uh, because, you know, reasons. So knock out another bomber, got the Mosquito, and fuck that guy because I'm not going to go head-to-head -head with him. Flip up and over. And... You know, I talked about in Garage, this is actually what this aircraft does really well, uh, which is to deal with um, heavy fighters. It has, it has the speed, has the altitude uh, to get up here high enough to deal with these guys. Uh, and, you know, I'm playing a little bit more, well, I want to win the game, obviously, so of course I'm going to be dealing with these bombers. Uh, I normally probably wouldn't have, uh, you know, with this aircraft being a light fighter, uh, it takes an abnormally large amount of damage. Uh, from those 50s. So back down and uh, luckily that A26 society is going to be shooting at the uh, other fighter so it gives me a little bit better chance to get in here on him. Uh, and of course I'm not terribly sure but yeah he's got you know those turns are everywhere god damn it. 
uh, flip up, finish off this last A26. Uh, you know, just one less thing to worry about. So now I got 7,600 feet, uh, and I'm just looking around here to see what I can find. And of course, the other A26 makes it back, and uh, once again, back at it with these uh, 50s. And you, like I said, you, you you can do a lot of damage. You can really eat through these guys relatively quickly. You're just going to take a lot of damage yourself uh, in this plane. Uh, and it does take a lot of module damage, especially if you have to deal with these guys. Uh, leaves me on seven hit points. So I'm back out of here, and I didn't actually realize at the time uh, that they had not. Uh, they had taken out the uh, repair facility on that air base. Uh, it wasn't until I was already over it that I was like, shit. So I'm actually going to start jumping on here, uh, the Yak uh, and this other fighter, the BF-109. And this aircraft does it well. Like I said, clearing tails, get in there. Uh, and it doesn't take long with those 50s to really pummel them down here. Um, BF 109F uh, straight ahead of me, and he is just flying away from me. Once again, th these guns are all over the place, so you might want to put some uh, reflector sights on just to help out a little bit. So we catch it, and of course, like I said, I hadn't realized, I didn't even looked, I assumed that the wrench was still here, uh, so I start flying around in circles like an idiot. <laughs> Uh, it happens, fellas, it happens. So, we gained air supremacy, and uh, victory is going to be very shortly. So, uh, really, there is better aircraft in the game. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, this is what this aircraft does. Uh, you know, it, it is very lackluster. It's not something that I would you know, necessar necessarily say, uh, you know, go for it. Uh, I do believe the 9s and 10s gets a little bit better, uh, at least maneuverably wise. But as right now, the um, P-51s are kind of, you know, they're a little weak, uh, you know, and it is what it is. So, hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I will be bringing up some more uh, a little bit later.